Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Flash movies, Michael Keaton, Batman. Oh man, I am ex very excited to, you know, look at this guy. Michael Keaton's one of my favorite live action Batmans, and seeing him come back for the Flash movie makes me super excited. And having it in action figure form... Also makes me super excited. I almost didn't think I was going to get this figure, but I got the whole wave from Target. As you can see, here's the barcode. If you guys want to get them, go do it now. Here's another QR code. Here's Michael Keaton Batman on the back. Looking great. I love this artwork. This will be the same thing on the trading card. We got Batman Multiverse, The Flash. So this is a Batman from, you know, the... From a different timeline that Barry creates, where, you know, this, you know, he's retired, and this is, you know, from the Michael Keaton universe. And this is a original suit, which we'll talk about a little more. So let's get to it and crack him open. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. He comes with your standard issue DC Multiverse base. Then he comes with a trading card. Looking great. I love this image of, you know, the Michael Keaton Batman. Turning it around, as you can see, there is a bio. If you want to read it, pause it right now. And before we take a look at his actual accessories, I just wanted to show off my trading card binder. I wanted to show off that my Batman Hall of Armor doesn't, you know, is extended to the trading cards. As you can see, I have a page with the, you know, Batmans over here. And I do have one with the action figure photography as well. And I'm just going to keep making more of these Batman ones. So I'll show this. I'll show show more off on it grows. Out of the package, he comes with two gripping hands. And those are to hold his two accessories. We have a battering and a grapple gun. And these are definitely 89 inspired, which is really cool. That That is awesome. And he also comes with a pair of fists, which is... Really cool, he has the most accessories in the wave. And now let's take a closer look at the Michael Keaton Batman. And just to start off, this isn't the 89 suit or the, you know, Batman Return suit. This is an all new original suit for the movie. But, you know, it definitely is a Michael Keaton Bat suit. You can definitely see and we'll, you know, take a look, closer look at it. But look, starting off with the head. It's not an exact likeness, but I can definitely see Michael Keaton in that head. And that that is awesome. I really do like this head sculpt. Looks really cool. This is just so awesome to have. Turning him around, you can see he has the cloth goods cape like the Ben Affleck one. But this one is much bigger. As you can see, it spreads out a lot more. That is awesome. That is so freaking cool. Look at that. It would have been cool if it had a bendy wire in it. I mean, it's probably not that hard to, you know, mod one in here. But that is awesome. The the cape spread is super cool. And he has a cloth goods cape so he can fit into the Batmobile and to, into the Batwing. Moving on to the torso, we have the chest emblem. A little bit of a little paint mess up right there, but it's not that bad. Looks good. I love this suit. This is probably one of my favorite, you know, live action suits. It looks really cool. I, it's very glossy, but I believe it's like that in the movie as well, so it's, you know, you know, it's kind of accurate, I believe. Again, this is just a really cool looking suit. It's mostly black, and it's awesome. I'm very happy to have this. Looking at the back, you know, it's not much. You get some pouches. This is just an awesome design, and I absolutely love it. Moving down to the arms, you know, you can see the scallops and, you know, these armor plates. See the gloves have some detail on it, which looks really cool. Overall, this is already an amazing figure. And I do like the belt. It does look kind of 89-ish, but it's, you know, it's its own thing. And it's also black. It would have been cool if it were gold, but, you know, that's cool. And then looking down at the boots, it has this, like, kind of wash, like this green or yellow wash to it. it it just makes the boots look dirty it's a cool effect i mean i can like it's cool but like i would have rather them kept it black it would have been nice if they just kept them black but overall it doesn't take away anything from the figure because you know this figure just looks awesome i i love it it looks so cool now let's take a closer look at his articulation 
Starting off with the head, he can actually move his head now. <laughs> if you guys get that joke, please you know please leave a comment down below if you guys get that joke. But yeah, his neck can actually move now. He can move his neck, so his head can look up that much, can look down that much, can rotate 360, and has tilt. Torso crunches forward that much, crunches back that much, can rotate and you know pivot. Shoulders don't move out as much as I'd like to due to the shoulder pad. They are connected to the shoulder. They do rotate 360. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and McFarlane wrist balls that rotate and hinge. He gets a pretty good spread. His so legs can kick out that much. They can kick back some. Double jointed knees and ankles that move down, they move up. They do rotate and pivot, and he has toe articulation. Measuring out the Michael Keaton Batman, he comes to around seven and a half inches tall. And here he is next to two other live action Batmans. We have Ben Affleck and Robert Pattinson. And here he is next to some other movie figures. We have the Joker from The Dark Knight and Superman from, you know, Justice League. And I'd like to see more, like, old-school, like, live-action figures. Like, I'd love to see a Jack Nicholson Joker and especially a Christopher Reeve Superman. That would be awesome if we could see that in the multiverse line. And here's the Michael Keaton Batman next to two comic book Batmans. We have the Hush Batman and the Rebirth Batman. And then here he is next to two other figures from the wave that I've already reviewed. We have the Ben Affleck Batman and the Dark Flash. And here's Batman up on the rotating base. And I'm already going to say it, he's the best figure from the wave. I, I know I haven't gone through all the figures yet, but I, I like this figure a lot. He is so much fun. The sculpting detail is amazing. I love the suit design. I really do like the suit design. This may be one of my favorites um, in live action suits. And having a Michael Keaton Batman in the collection just makes me so freaking happy. I hope to see a Batman Return suit and 89 suit in the line. That'd be really cool. But having this one just makes me so happy. Can't wait to put him in my Hall of Armor display. Because I have, you know, I'm going to be doing a movie and video game section where all the movie figures and video game figures will go. It's going to be awesome. Oh my God. I'm excited for this movie as well. And just having, you know, these figures makes me even more pumped for the movie. I love the Flash and I love Batman. And having this Batman and the Mike, uh, not the Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck Batman from this wave just makes me, makes me happy. I, I like, like I said, I like having Batman figures, not just because of the Hall of Armor, but because he's my favorite, favorite DC character. I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I really enjoyed this figure, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.